me for a while now um, what I use on my skin and I thought I would break it up into two segments daytime and nighttime and show you what I use for each time of day. background on my skin um, in the winter and spring my skin is more normal and then in the summer into the fall, my skin is definitely combination. I have a very oily T-zone and then the rest of my skin is normal. And then I'm also very sensitive. The product isn't going to work for me. I will know instantly. Um, I get basically either really bad cystic acne or I get breakouts. So. Um, my daytime skin routine is definitely nailed down and these are the products that I'm using, that I'm loving, that are working. Um, my nighttime skin routine I'm probably not going to share with you for several more weeks just because I am trying some new products and I like to give them about four to six weeks before I actually <laughs> you know if they're working and if I'm going to keep using them. So my nighttime skin routine will be up but it's going to be a while um, before I do Daytime that. Daytime skin routine, skincare routine, here we go. I start off my morning by cleansing my using face. Using the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I am using the Normal to Oily Skin Formula. I absolutely love this. It's just awesome. It helps with the oil control. It removes the oil. It helps um, my skin from breaking out. Um, it's not going to dry your skin. So um, if you have oily skin and, and you know you hate cleansers that just leave your skin feeling tight, this is not going to do that. Um, the cool thing about it is that it, it's also going to remove any makeup. So if I didn't get everything the night before, in the morning this will do the trick. Love it. Um, it is gentle so you can use it every day and it's just nice because I don't find that it clogs my pores. It just leaves my skin feeling really clean without feeling tight and so this has been a lifesaver. After I cleanse my face, I go in with the Caudalie Polyphenol Anti-Wrinkle Defense Serum. Now I got this as, I believe it was a 100 point perk from Sephora, and this has lasted me a long time. I only use about this much my finger and I rub it into my skin. It feels amazing. It's not heavy, it's not dry. I just find that it's really nice and it doesn't irritate my skin. Um, I've been using it for a while now. I just really, really enjoy it. It's really nice. I've, I've loved incorporating it into my skincare. I do notice when I don't use it, so um, once I rub now I will definitely be buying a full bottle of that. After I apply my serum, I go in with my eye cream. Currently I'm using the Mario Badesa Ceramide Eye Gel. This was a re recommendation um, by one of my friends. Awesome because prevent moisture loss and moisturize as well as smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles which I really, I've said this before, I have fine lines under my eyes and mostly for dehydration but I find that since I've used this um, they have minimized and also my concealer applies nicer, it lasts a little bit longer, I don't get that um, uneven looking texture. My, eye, um, my under eye area is so hydrate, my concealer wears better, it doesn't crease, it doesn't settle. So I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, it's green. It's a gel. Um, the cool thing about this is um, when my allergies were bothering me, I popped this in the fridge and it gives that cooling effect and it really helps with puffiness. So I highly, highly suggest this if you're looking for an eye gel. This is really nice and it's really hydrating. For my moisturizer, I'm using this Mario Badescu, the oil-free moisturizer with SPF 30. I am using something at night that currently requires an SPF and I have a very hard time with SPF because like I said before, my skin is so sensitive that a lot of times it will break me out. 
this has not done and it's hydrating without being too heavy so if you are you know combo to oily you might want to try something like this since it is oil free it doesn't make me excessively oily throughout the day so I really really enjoy it absorbs into the skin so that it hydrates and softens the skin and then green tea supplies anti-aging benefits I really really like I will repurchase it I cannot get enough I love it so the last step before I head into my room to my vanity to put on my makeup I use the Mario Badescu the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water this is just beautiful a beautiful product I give it a few spritzes on my face and it just really rejuvenates and revives my skin it just gives it that fresh feeling and I love it so I'm loving finishing my morning routine with this oh I highly recommend absolutely love this it's just gonna give your skin that quick boost um, you could even take it with you in your person if you're feeling a little ugh, give your skin a spray. Um, love it. That is my morning, or excuse me, my daytime skincare routine. I know it's not a lot of products, but I'm a firm believer that less is more. Um, and for me, I was overworking my skin in the past, which was causing more problems. So I find if I keep it, keep it simple, keep it basic, and keep it to the things that I know work and just continue to use those, my skin looks and feels so much better. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.